Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How are you, everybody? We shall start our chapter three, descriptive statistic. By the end of the chapter, you will be capable to distinguish between measure of central tendency, measure of variability, measure of shape, and measure of association. Also, you are going to understand the meaning of mean, median, mode, quartile, percentile, and range. You will be capable to compute mean, median, mode, percentile, quartile, range, variance, standard deviation, and mean absolute deviation on ungrouped data as well as group data. You are going to be, you are, will be able to differentiate between sample and population variance and standard deviation. The remaining objective as well, you can understand the meaning of standard deviation as it is applied by using the empirical rules of Chebyshev theory. Compute the mean, median, standard deviation and variance on group data, understand books and Wixer plot and sequences choice, compute the coefficient of correlation and how to interpret its meaning. Measure of central tendency reveal information about particular places or location in a group of numbers. Common measure of locations are mount, median, mean, percentile, and quartiles, and all these has different meaning. Let us start at the beginning with the mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring value or characteristic among individuals. Or the value or characteristic appear more than other values or characteristic in the same population or in the sample. By definition, mode is applicable for all level of data measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Also can be used to determine what category occurs most frequently. Sometimes no mode exists, no duplicates. Also sometimes we may find by mode or by model in a time for the most frequently occurring value, two modes are nested. Also, the sum distribution has a multi-model, multi-modal data sets that contains more than two modes. Second measure median. The middle value an ordered array of numbers or ordering data. So by definition, median is divided the data set into two half. One half above its value, other half below it. So in mathematical manners, its order will be n plus one divided two its position among the ranked data or ordered data. For an array and odd number of, of terms, the median is the middle number. If n equal 11, then n plus 1, 12 divided 2, you get a 6. So the sixth observation would be the median. If we have an even number of observation, then we have two values the median will be in between. So if, for example, if n equal 10, so n plus 1 divided 2, 11 divided 2, 5 and half. So we go for the observation number fifth and the sixth observation and get the average in between, it will be the median in that case. Arithmetic mean, the average of grouped data.
applicable for its tapered and ratio data. Not applicable for nominal or ordinal data. It will be affected by each value in the data set, including extreme values, the layers or the value at the tails. Computing by finding the sum of all values of the data set and divided that quantity by the number of data point or number of observation in the data set. So average equals summation of the value divided by their numbers. Here is a demonstration problem, problem number 3.1 at your textbook. The number of used card surfaces by top car rental companies in recent year according to the auto rental news follows. Company numbers in car of car and surfaces and prices 643,000, 30s 327,000, National Alama 23, 233,000, etc. You can read and complete your reading by numbers. Compute the mode the median and the mean of that data. Solution. If you go through the figures, you will find that 9000 is the only value repeated twice, or two companies have 9000 carbon surfaces. So it will be the mode. The median within 13 different companies, if we arrange them, Descending or in descending order or ascending order. So n is 13 and even numbered 13 plus 1 divided by 2 is 7. So the median will be in the 7th position. If you arrange the previous figure in descending manner or ascending manner and you pick number 7, it will be 20,000. The mean or mu. You can get summation of x divided n by the formula. So you get the sum of these, the previous figures, divided by 13. You will find the value 137,769.23. You may notice that if we look to the mode, median, mean you will always find the median in between mod and arithmetic mean. It's always occurred that the median will be in between of the two other measures. The centile measure of central tendency that divide group of data into 100 parts. At least 10% of the data lies at or below the end percentile. And at most, 100 minus n percentile of the data lies above the n percentile. Example for that, the 90th percentile indicate that at 90%, the data are equal to or less than, it, than this value. And 10% of the data lie above it. That's the meaning of percentile. How to compute the percentile? To calculate the peak percentile, first we order data descending or ascending manner. We prefer to arrange data in ascending manner. Calculate I equal N times B over 100. Determine the percentile. If i is a whole number, then use the average of the i's and i plus 1 or the observation. Otherwise, round i up to the next highest whole number to find its position. Quartile 
are measures for central tendencies that divide a group of data into four subgroups. Three quartiles are exist in that case. Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1, which determines that 25% of the data set below the first quartile. Second quartile, Q2, which is the median, which divides the data into two halves. 50% of the data set is below the second quartile or below the median, while other 50% above the median. Third quartile means that 75% of the data set is below the third quartile. You may note that the order goes in ascending manner, not descending manner. If we are in descending manner, Q1 and Q3 will change their position, their rank. Their, you must note that. For the previous demonstration problem, problem number 3.1, 3 we computed already the second quartile, the median, but Q1, I equals 13 times 25 divided 100, then it will be 3.25. So we go for the fourth one, for the fourth observation, Q1 equals 9,000. Q3 will be multiplied 13 times 75, not by 100, it will be 9.75. So we'll go up to the 10th position, to the 10th order. We we'll find that Q3 equals 204,000, the value of Q3. You may notice that Q1 less than Q2, less than Q3. You may ask yourself now, which method of central tendency I can use? Which method is most appropriate one? In general, the mean is the preferred all of them, since it has nice mathematical properties in particular. The mean use all data points because it's summation of data divided by their numbers. The median and quartile are resistant to outliers. Why is the mean affected by the outlier? If you consider the following three data sets, one, two, three, median is two, mean is two. Second data set, one, two, six, median is two, mean is three. One, two, thirty, median is two, still the mean, but the mean is 11. So the mean is always affected by the outliers. It's affected by six, it's affected by three, while the median keep its position, number two. All above median equal two, but the mean is sensitive to the outliers. In general, if there are outliers, the median is preferred than the mean. If there is outliers, we can prefer using the median instead of mean. After finish studying all measure for central tendency, we can move to study the measure of variability for ungrouped data. Measure variability is the tools that describe the spread or dispersion of set of data over a plane surface. It provides more meaningful data when used. With measure of central tendency in comparison to other group, we can compare group using variability rather than measure of central tendency. There is too many measures of variability. We can write them in sequence range, interquartile range, 
these two depend on ordering or ranking the data. Mean absolute deviation, variance and standard deviation, these depend on the mean arithmetic mean because it depends on calculation form. Coefficient of variation also it depends upon the type of measure we are going to use. The range, by definition, the range is the difference between the largest and the smallest value in a set of data. The advantage is easy to be computed. The disadvantage of range, it is affected by extreme values. So if we have a wide area, then the range will be very wide. So as we mentioned that the range are affected by the outliers, it may be unuseful measure for variability. For that case, if the researcher will be interested in the middle 50%, middle half, ignore the first quarter, ignore the, third, the fourth quarter as well, so he will stuck with quarter two and quarter three. We call that measure interquartile range because it is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile, Q3 minus Q1. And in that case, we ignore the effect of outliers by ignoring the first, the lower quartile, lower quarter, and upper quarter. For previous example, you can compute the quartile range by the difference between Q3 and Q1. You get it 195,000. Sometimes, in some situation, we use half of the quartile, interquartile range. We call it half of interquartile range by dividing the value by 2. We stop upon this slide for the time being and we continue with the remaining measure of variability which depend on the arithmetic mean for the coming lecture. Goodbye for now. Thank you.